exchange rates, graph axis. Looking at the dollar and the other foreign currencies of the world, we're going to go ahead and draw a graph for dollar and a graph for foreign currencies. When drawing the graph, make sure that you label the x-axis relating to the name of the graph. So for the dollar, you would put quantity of dollars, and whatever the other foreign currency is, it would be quantity of the name of that foreign currency, whether it's yen, ruble, British pound, euro, so forth. That's the easy part in drawing this graph. The tougher part is to indicate what is on the y-axis. On the y-axis for the dollar is the price of the foreign currency in terms of a dollar. And on the y-axis for the foreign currency, it's the price of a dollar in terms of a foreign currency. Let's look at a particular currency of the world. Let's look at the, the Chinese yuan. When looking at the currency then, Make sure that you name the currency, the yuan, underneath the graph. This is the Chinese currency. And make sure you put the quantity of yuan, or the symbol. Once you've labeled the name of the graph and the quantity of whatever currency you're talking about, then you have most of the graph. But again, looking at this, this is more difficult. Let's try to simplify what's on the y-axis. If we're talking about a price of foreign currency in terms of a dollar, then what we're talking about then is the yuan price of a dollar. What is the other currency's price of a dollar? And so here it says price of a dollar in terms of the foreign currency being the yuan. Then we're looking at the dollar price of yuan. To state it in another term, we can say the yuan price of a dollar or here the dollar dollar price of a yuan. You can write it that way. But probably the easiest way and what to write out on the y-axis should be the name of the other currency divided by one dollar. So make sure the dollar is on the bottom of the division because that's on the bottom of the graph. What's the dollar amount in yuan? Remember that yuan is here at the bottom of the formula and so you have it at the bottom of the graph. Or you can write the name of the foreign currency divided by the dollar, or here, take the dollar and divide it by whatever the name of the currency is. Whichever way you want to write it, it's just a simpler way to understand the y-axis. And so what you have is a supply and demand for dollars, and wherever they meet, that is the exchange rate. And you have the supply and demand of the yuan, and whatever wherever they meet, that is the exchange rate.